as you can see, I've been busy. Well, in the last few hours, I've spent uh, putting the decals on this uh, top side of the saucer. The Aztec decals and the registry numbers are on there. There's a couple that I still, a couple small ones I have to do here and there. The little red ones that go around the back part here, that kind of pinstriping, and maybe one or two other spots. But overall, that's that's all of it. Um, and as I said, that really just takes that hole that looks kind of plain and flat and just makes it stand right out. Pretty happy with how they all laid down in there. Um, it's a lot to expect a decal that complex to fit over a lot of really different uh, shapes. You know, you've got your small little square areas and stuff around here going on, and it's a lot to expect. But in, for the most part, it's really down on there pretty nice for being decals. Uh, comes pretty close to looking like it's painted on, so pretty happy with that. Uh, I'll come back a little bit later here this evening and give you another update. I've, if you can see that too, I've got the uh, airlock doors on there now from the Paragraphics, Paragraphics kit. And now I've got to come and do all the as taking on the warp pylons and um, the sensor bands that go all the way around here. And then when, once that's all down and sealed up, then I'll be able to seal the windows up finally. And uh, then I'll let this dry overnight, flip it over, and uh, do the entire bottom side as teching. And that's pretty much it once I seal that part up with... Uh, clear it'll be all sealed up and just ready and I'll move on to finishing up the display base so really coming along good and uh, yeah I'll be back here in a little while and show you guys a little bit more of the decals uh, once I get the sensor bands done one of the guys out there mentioned that the the they didn't line up too well on this uh, decal kit so I'm kind of curious to check that out so I'll be back with that here in just a little bit well hello again here's our Final update for the evening, uh, the model is now pretty much 100% finished up. I've gone and done all the decal work, all the Aztecs are on this, on the top and the bottom, and um, on all the warp nacelles, everything is pretty well covered up, and uh, I'm just letting these sit now overnight. I've gone and I've sprayed it all down with um, some of this uh, tester's... Uh, decal bonder and I let that dry for a little while and then I, I've just started I put my second coat of uh, testers dull coat over top of that now and it's taken it down as you can see it doesn't have that shiny glare on it anymore but all the uh, registry numbers everything is pretty much there every little de detail I could think of I even did the little red pinstriping around the photon launcher and some of that stuff was really really tedious to work with and uh, I don't know if it'll show or not on here, but even at the bottom of the uh, sensor array, I put those real small decals on there that detail all that out. I pretty much put every decal on that came with that entire Aztec set. And uh, so, again, a uh, couple little tiny little things to do. I got to paint these little these edges of these phaser cannons uh, blue, and I might see a few more things that little last minute paint touch ups. And then the plan will be tomorrow I'm going to come and do the micro crystal clear in all the windows on the sides here. These ones up in the front are already done. So I'll do those and uh, the model will be totally sealed up and ready to be mounted. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. And again, I'll come back and talk about it in the final video and give you some better shots of it when it's up on the stand where you can see it better. But uh, And then I'll show you how all the switching and everything is going to work once I get to wire all that up. So have a great week, everybody. And until we see you next time, happy modeling, everybody.